Let's look at another qualitative variable, exercise or fitness level. The first thing we'll do is construct a relative frequency table and then we'll add a pie chart. So I want to start by organizing the data. So I'm going to move my cursor to the column header H. Left click and that'll highlight the entire column. From the sort and filter menu I'll select sort A to Z, that's from smallest to largest. I want to sort the entire selection. I'll use the default setting. And now we're ready to create the relative frequency table. I'm going to scroll over a little bit. The categories are low, moderate, and high. These are fitness levels. Now I need a count for each. I'll highlight all the highs. On the lower right hand side I see that there's a count of 20. I can add that to my table. For the lows I'll highlight them on the lower right hand side and I see a count of 9. And now for the moderate, I see a count of 39. I want to double check to make sure that my count totals equal my sample size. I'll use the auto sum feature. Just hit enter. The total is 68 and that is also my sample size. So far I have the counts. Now I want to add relative frequencies. The relative frequency is the count divided by the sample size. So anytime I want to insert a formula in Excel, I need to begin with an equal sign. So I'll type that first. I want 9 divided by 68. That's 0 0.13235. An easier way to do this calculation is to use cell references. Rather than type in 39 divided by 68, I'll just point and click the value that's in L5 divided by the value that's in L7 and hit enter. Because I'm using cell references, I can just copy this formula. I'm moving my cursor to the bottom right of that cell so that I see this thin black cross. And then I'm left click, press and drag. And uh oh, I have an error. The problem with dragging a formula to copy it is that the cell references change. In this case that's good in that the numerator has switched from L5 to L6, but the denominator has switched from L7 down to L8. Here's L8 and it's empty. So that's why I am getting a division by zero error. I can adjust that. I'll go back to the cell where I have my formula. Actually back to the one where I typed the original formula and I'm going to fix the denominator so that it won't change. I want to keep that as L7. So I'm clicking to bring my cursor on the L7 and hitting F4. Notice that that has added a dollar sign before the L and before the 7. I'm going to hit enter. I'll move my cursor back onto that cell and to the bottom left so that I have the thin black cross. Hold the left click down to drag and that removes that error. That's a very handy feature if you have a long list of items and don't want to 
type a formula over and over again. I want to make sure that this adds to one. I'll use the auto sum feature and it does. So now I have relative frequency. I would rather report these as percentages. I'll highlight the relative frequencies and then click the percent button. That'll convert things. And so here's a basic relative frequency table. However, I think I can do better and make this a little easier to read. I'm going to expand the width of column K so that we can read fitness level. Since I'm using percentages, I'm going to change this column header from relative frequency to percentage. So I have counts and percentages. I would like for these to be centered. Make a little bit more room for percentage. That's looking better. Let's add a line below the column headers. I'll right click to bring up my format menu. I want to format the cells by adding a border, a thick border at the bottom of the cells. And above the totals, I'm going to add a thin border. So again, I'll format cells, choose a thinner line, and just add that above. And now let's add some color. I'm going to fill in the interior in a light shade of orange. And then for the headers, I'll use a little bit darker shade and for the totals as well. So here we have a frequency and relative frequency table for fitness levels. Let's add a pie chart. I'm going to highlight my categories and counts. Click the insert tab. Select pie chart. I'm going to choose a 3D pie chart. Let's look at some of our layout options. This option adds a title and the percentages and I like that. I'll change the chart title. These are fitness levels. I'm not happy with the color. Why don't I change this blue to maybe a light gray. And I think I'll change this to a light purple. And the last one to a darker purple. I'm going to increase my font size to make this easier to read. Here as well, I'm going to increase the font size. And now we have a pie chart that summarizes our relative frequency table.